Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to another tech week. This is week eight, and we're going to be going into materials. Woo! Brand new topic, brand new me. No more green hair. Well, so long, green hair. Let's take a look at what we are doing. Before we do that, though, uh, I am offering an incentive since nobody comes to any of my online lectures through Zoom. If you would like to join us after any lecture, question, answer, you know, work, uh, I would like to challenge you guys in a platform of your choice. So would you like to get crushed in chess, Go, Overwatch, or Magic? I'm offering you the option to get uh, crushed in any of those formats. So I hope to see you there. And without further ado, what are we doing this week? We're talking about materials. Woo! We're going to identify fundamental properties of materials and reason about new ones. And we're going to consider implications of new materials. We're going to talk about why should we care about these things, or some useful properties, and then we'll take a look at this week's assignment. So let's go ahead and get to it. Why should we care about materials? Uh, almost any innovation you think of, pretty much anything, hinges on some sort of property of a material we take for granted. It actually took people a long time to develop. Uh, it could have been prehistoric people just playing around with various things and seeing how they work and uh, maybe realizing that soap is a really useful material with lots of important qualities. I hope you guys aren't forgetting about those qualities uh, outside of school. Really important, right? Uh, maybe it was a bunch of engineers fiddling around with chemicals, looking for a compound with a specific property, like asphalt, took a long time to develop, but is really, really sturdy, doesn't break, uh, heat resistant, uh, is uh, somewhat shock absorbent, you can run on it without injuring yourself, although maybe I wouldn't recommend doing that for long periods of time. At any rate, asphalt is great. Or maybe we can think about future materials that might be important. So this is a picture of a quantum computer developed by IBM. Inside here, there are hundreds of little silicone disks, much like a regular computer would have. But those silicone disks contain uh, what are called qubits. And long story short, you need those to be really, 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 really cold in order for them to work something close to what we would call a superconductor. This technology would have been impossible to even imagine uh, some 50 years ago, but now we are slowly approaching this being a real thing. And this is going to put our current computers to shape. So really, really exciting. Uh, take my computer science principle class to learn more. Shameless plug. Further, let's say uh, we're looking to consider job opportunities. If you would like to be a materials engineer, that is a real thing that people do. You study new materials and you can make lots of good money. Uh, it's a pretty good average salary. Um, take a look who is hiring here and what you would have to do. Yeah, you investigate products, you supervise material testing, which could be really cool. You design strategies. You could work for Boeing or Lockheed Martin or General Electric. All sorts of big names are hiring in this area. Uh, 3.9 out of 5 mm, seems, seems pretty good. Uh, I'm sure teachers have a lower satisfaction rating. <laughs> well, I don't know for sure. At any rate. Uh, let's talk about properties of materials. So you guys are going to be defining most of these. That's your assignment for this week. We'll take a look at it in a second. Um, I want to really quickly point out some differences that are often missed. So strength, toughness, and hardness all seem kind of related, very similar properties. They are a little different. So you guys are going to discover for yourselves the difference here that we're referring to when we talk about, let's say, hardness versus strength, right? What are we referring to? So really important that you note those differences. I just wanted to point that out now. All right, my assignment for this week is called Material Properties. It's posted under Modules, Distance Learning, Market Period 3. If you have any questions, please email me. We are meeting twice a week, so please check the schedule and uh, come. I'll also send you an email, as always, to remind you. I am available for Zoom appointments as well. 
So please, please, please meet with me if you would like or need help with anything. This is your assignment for the week. Really straightforward. You're going to go to this website. You're going to define a couple of terms. You're going to go to this other website. Define a couple of other terms. And then you're going to go to this link. And you get to pick whatever TED talk you like about new materials. So there's lots to choose from. So uh, maybe pick something that speaks to you, right? Are you more interested in open source learning or what, what, what appeals to you? Toys, maybe? Who knows? Pick one of these, watch it, and then talk or answer these questions right here. Who's talking? What did you get out of it? What materials are they innovating on? All right, that's all I got. I hope to see you guys at our meetings and I hope you're all safe and take it easy.